times in business, in life, and in professional wrestling, you need to see the B team before you appreciate what you have with the A team. So that means Sean McHale is not here tonight and I'm in charge all night long. That's right. Oh, but speaking of big things in ICW, sudden impact, May 16th, a fatal four-way for the Impact Division Championship. Jake O'Brien, Randy Price, Damian Morte, and the Impact Division Champion, who will lose on that night, I can assure you, Jordan Jacobs. Fatal four-way for the Impact Division Championship. But that's not all. That's not all. My man, the natural born leader, Johnny Z, and the facilitator, David Windsor, are going to destroy Al Snow and destroy Kevin Morgan and send that doll whisperer Snow back to the subpar company where he belongs, not ICW. You heard me, so shut your mouth. But the Impact Player of the Year Tournament? Good to see you. I thought I heard something that piqued my interest. You said in two weeks, sudden impact, there's a match, the Impact Player of the Year Finals. There's two people in that match. One of them who has earned his way into that match. One of them who has been slated up against stiff competition. We're talking about Spike. Spike's tough. We're talking about Kid Crazy. Who are you to doubt Kid Crazy? Who are you? Who are you? Then we've got competitor number two who has never earned anything in his life. He'll always be number two. Who could I possibly be talking about? Oh, that's right. Jeff Wolfenbarger, the man who's never earned anything in this ring. The man who is only in that match because his last name is Wolfenbarger. Nepotism, nepotism at its finest. So Mark, I've got a proposal for you tonight. I'm all in. I want to suggest that you make Jeff Wolfenbarger earn something. You make Jeff Wolfenbarger prove himself. I want you to put him in a match right here tonight. And I want you to get the biggest, baddest, most fearsome individual you can find in that locker room. And I want you to put him in here with Jeff Wolfenbarger tonight. Light bulb just went off. Ding. You know, that's not a bad idea. And as a matter of fact, I said Jeff's always going to be number two. And he's a liar. A lawyer. Same, same thing. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. So, hey, how about this? Will this make you happy? Jeff the Liar Wolfenbarger 
and the image of fear of Kevin Morgan, and they just beat the living hell out of each other tonight. What do you say about that? I like that. That's a great idea. Jeff's finally going to prove himself before he loses the finals of the Impact Player of the Year tournament. That's a great idea. You're a hell of a booker, man. No, no you are. No, you're the booker, man. No, you are. <laughs> We got a great match scheduled for later tonight. What business do you have out here? Oh, you can bet. You should know by now that when Double D comes out here, you know it's going to be some good business. We'll have to agree to disagree. I heard you running your little flapper right there for a while, stinking up the whole joint. Now, you know in two weeks, May 16th at Sudden Impact, I've got myself a match for the IZW Championship. Yeah, I heard about that. Which means you know that in two weeks, I'm gonna be your new IZW Champion. What that means to me is you're the next former IZW Champion. Because I'm gonna get that Sudden Impact contract and I don't care who is the IZW champion after Sudden Impact. Because I've got my eyes set on it. If it's Jermaine Johnson, if it's Double D, I don't care who it is. It's funny you should mention that. Because I was going to bring that up and the fact that, man, you listen off the names of the stars you trumped on your way to the finals here. Yeah, stiff competition. And you, you seem awfully confident in yourself. You seem like you don't have a question in your mind that you're going to be the Impact Player of the Year, right? Not a question, baby. I was born to be the Impact Player of the Year. What's your point? Well, let's see how they feel about this. You're going to be the new Impact Player of the Year, which means to become IZW Champion, you're going to have to go through me. So, so... What I'm suggesting is that we go ahead and give the people what they want, give them a little preview of the future, and you get yourself in this ring with me tonight, and you get your ass kicked by me tonight. Now, who sounds overconfident? If you really want to get in a ring with me tonight, all you're doing is ensuring that you do not leave Sudden Impact with that IZW championship. Do you really want that? There's nothing I'd love more than to get in this ring tonight and kick your ass. All right, if you really want that, I've got nothing better to do tonight than to come out here and ensure after sudden impact that I take that IZW championship from Jermaine Johnson. You, you know what, I'm so confident about that Let's have the match right now, Mark Wilson. Wait a minute. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Right now. Let's, let, me, let me say this. We'll have the match, but not right now. You're a Hall of Famer. You're a Hall of Famer. You get back. You get back. No, no, not right now, bro. You got to understand, bro. Right? Right Let's take a poll. How about this? Do you all want to see me kick his ass right now? Okay. Okay, it's not gonna happen right now. Guess what? You, Brad, you gotta understand. You know, you're a Hall of Fame. You don't get the match tonight. Hey, y'all, shut your mouth. It's not gonna happen right now. It's gonna happen later tonight. You can pop a groin, you can tear a hamstring, you can break your nose, something. Something.
kick back and have it. You got to stretch out. Harley Race always said stretch out 30 minutes before a match. Pop my back. It's going to happen. It's going to happen tonight, but not right now. Got it? Good. That's fine. That just gives him a few minutes to think about his sudden doom. That's real cute, real cute. Let's see how many cute comments you have when I shove my foot up your ass tonight. Now hit my music. to face each other, to beat the living hell out of each other. And we are still just two weeks away from sudden impact. We are about to see a humongous Impact Division Championship match. Impact rules. George Jacobs lights out is about to face Randy Price. You look magnificent. I do. I do, and you're not so bad yourself. I gotta say, you're not so bad yourself. Bobby, we are... Superstars. We're greatest. We're the greatest of all time. We're not just the greatest, like, right now. Like, ever. Ever. There's never been anything greater. And you know what? I think it's about time everyone acknowledge 
just how great we really are and give us our proper due. You know what I'm saying? I agree 100%. For instance, I think from now on, instead of this dreary dungeon that they call a locker room that does not even have gold stars on the door with our names. I know. Not only that, but the biggest disrespect of all, I think, the fact that when I look around here, nowhere do I look do I see a plate with plums and berries of the garden, oh. extravagant fruits from around the world, oh. like I requested. Nowhere do I see those delicious Triscuit crackers you like oh. with, the, with the, what's the, the squeezy cheese that you like. The squeezy, that's not here. There's no squeezy cheese. What? Yeah. You know where it's at, Bobby? It's catering. catering. No. What? No, it's not. It's not cut. It's catering. You know what? But you're onto something there. Because I don't feel like if we want to have our delicious snacks and treats, we should have to walk all the way to catering. No. I think they should bring it to us. Of course. I think I should have all the treats here. The chariot should be rolling to us. That's it. You know what? Problem solved. You know what we're going to do? We're going to walk over to catering. Oh. And we're going to demand that catering come to us. Woo. You couldn't have said it any better. I right? could not have, and I would not even try. No. Okay. Let's do this, bro. Bobby. Come on. Come on. To catering. To catering. To bring it back, Bobby. Leave the hair. That's going to freak people out, man. Just leave the hair. Yeah, it'll be good. It needs to dry anyway. You wash it up real good. Use the oils. Bring your belt. Yeah, for sure. Bring your belt. You need to settle down. Settle down. Bobby, don't go in there and swing it. Come on. You got a temper, man. You better cool down. I would say this is their locker room, but this is definitely the place. Not, not a team bull in sight. No, there's nary a team bull to be found anywhere. But uh, maybe this they is. They left the all their swag. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, let's take a, a peek a inside here. Oh my God! Okay, that that is not godly. You know, the, not in the least. The, the, I didn't understand half the words, but I could understand enough of the attention. I saw the that, pictures. I, I'm, I'm, I need to wash my that hands sheet. after picking that book up. Okay. These are nice, though. Like, yeah. I mean, it's I mean, they, it's not my style. They but look ridiculous, not, but it's clearly finely made. You know, it's, it's got a certain garishness that I guess yeah. maybe, you know, the gods yeah. could... Oh, ho, 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 ho! Graham, what have we here? A slain ferret, I believe. That is, I believe it is I, a slain ferret. I'm not sure. It's some some. It's sort not of this earth. You know, marsupial esque. I maybe. Uh, how, this do they is, go, how do they go out with this? this if we went out in public in this, we would get we'd get ridiculed more than more than. But I think actually, I might know somewhere where this is actually considered high fashion. Grand Luke. I'm their rope. Follow me. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. One solid stud, Randy Price. About to make his entrance. And he will get his opportunity at the Impact Division Championship tonight in an Impact Rules match taking place right now against the Impact Division Champion, Lights Out, Jordan Jacobs. And who knows, Randy Price may walk in to Sudden Impact as the Impact Division Champion in that fatal four-way featuring Jake O'Brien, Damian Forte, Randy Price, and Jordan Jacobs in the fatal four-way for the Impact Division Championship. And I know Randy Price would love to do nothing better than to injure and possibly take that Impact Division Championship from Jordan Jacobs tonight in this Impact Rules match for the Impact Division Championship. Randy Price in fantastic shape. 
in the best shape of his life, and he is young in this business. He's got many years ahead of him. Impact Division Champion lights out Jordan Jacobs, who I don't believe will come out of sudden impact with that Impact Division Championship. And I'm almost inclined to believe that he won't come out tonight as the Impact Division Champion. He's facing Randy Price in an Impact Rules match for that championship. This may, may very well prove to be a big mistake on the part of George Jacobs. Putting that Impact Division Championship up two weeks before sudden impact. But he'll certainly have his hands full with two other men in the ring. Jake O'Brien and Damian Forte. Storm with the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is an impact rules match for the ICW Impact Division Championship. Introducing first your challenger. He is one solid stud, Randy. puts up his Impact Division Championship against one of the contenders in the Fatal 4-Way at Sudden Impact on May 16th, live here in the Impact Arena. One solid stud, Randy Price. And there's the bell. Impact rules match, anything goes. Well, George Jacobs seems to be very confident that he's going to retain the Impact Division Championship. I wouldn't be so certain. And it's almost a certainty that he won't emerge from sudden impact as the Impact Division Champion in a fatal four-way match. The odds are certainly stacked against him. Randy Price, though, is setting the pace of this match. That is one of his trademarks. He is always setting the pace in every match I see. And Jordan Jacobs dumb enough to fall for it. Randy Price spending considerable time jawing with the IZW world. And in the meantime, Jordan Jacobs can't get his hands on the man. Randy Price showing a maturity beyond his years. He's ready 
to lock up when he's ready to lock up. Jordan Jacobs trying to get a quick tag on the posterior of Randy Price. Now Randy Price trying to get a one solid stud chant, and I don't think the IZW world is smart enough to fall for it. Here's both men are ready to go though. Lock up, collar and elbow tie up. Both men jockeying for position. Randy Price catches Jordan Jacobs, the champion with a knee to the midsection. Oh, and a chop. And a second chop. Now just going to work on Jordan Jacobs in the corner, throws a fist into the solar plexus. Tossing Jacobs into the corner. Champion though catches Randy Price with a boot to the face. Oh, and he tried to get, tried to finish off Randy Price right there. Toss over, roll over to the back. Oh, chop right to the chest. Now Randy Price back to the corner. Jordan Jacobs catches an elbow to the chin. Randy Price going for a clothesline. Jordan Jacobs with a, an attempted backslide, but it could go either way right now. Randy Price could pull Jordan Jacobs down. He pulls him over instead. Boot to the midsection, forearm to the back of Randy Price. And this is, a, this is just a preview of what you're going to see at Sudden Impact on May 16th when the Impact Division Championship will be defended against two other competitors, Jake O'Brien and Damian Morte. Jordan Jacobs went for a cover, only got a two count out of it. And one solid stud, Randy Price, now perhaps rethinking his strategy. Jacobs throws Randy Price into the turnbuckle, catching Price with a shoulder to the midsection. Oh, the chop is going to leave some marks on Randy Price's chest. Now Randy Price tossing Jordan Jacobs in the corner. Now Price risk just unloads with fist to the midsection and chops. Randy Price still feeling the effects of the punishment he took earlier. Randy Price face first into the turnbuckle. Here he comes. Randy Price smart enough to pull himself out of the ring. Take a breather. There will be no count outs though because this is an Impact Rules match. Price being content on staying outside the ring and regrouping. Now with this being an Impact Rules match, if anything goes, George Jacobs went for a, a move, caught himself because Randy Price put the move out of the way, but Randy sweeps the legs, which drops Jordan Jacobs on the apron, and now outside and on the floor, Randy Price stomping to the lower back of the Impact Division champion, Jordan Jacobs. Oh, what a chop. Wedging Jordan Jacobs into the corner of the barrier outside the ring and unloads with a huge couple of chops to the chest of Jordan Jacobs. Now Randy Price throwing a brutal forearm, clubbing forearm to the back of Jordan Jacobs, the Impact Division Champion. Randy Price is in full control of this match right now. Oh, 
Jordan Jacobs, though, catches Randy Price with a boot to the midsection. Oh, and throws Randy Price right into the belt, sitting on the ringside table. Randy Price caught the Impact Division Championship in the mouth, and now Jordan Jacobs unloading on Randy Price, throwing him into the wooden barrier. And referee Chris Smith is more useless than ever, whereas all he can do in this Impact Rules match is make the final three count. Jordan Jacobs. Getting a measure, oh, Randy Price though. Caught him with a kind of a, 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 a Vader's type tackle. Now choking, Jordan Jacobs, nothing that the referee can do about it. Randy Price now recapitalizing on his advantage. Setting Jordan Jacobs up on the apron. Punches him right in the jaw. Chops him again. Look at Jacobs' chest. It's bruised already from the chops that Randy Price delivered earlier. And I'd say Randy Price probably has a few bruises himself from some chops he took from Jordan Jacobs. A kick right to the mouth of Jordan Jacobs, the champion. And now both men are headed up the ramp. Swear, man, I hope they don't end up over here. Forearms to Randy Price. Oh, Randy Price now firing back. Kick to the midsection now. Randy Price picks up Jordan Jacobs. And is he gonna slam him on the ramp? He sure as hell does. What a thud. And lights out Jordan Jacobs, the Impact Division champion. Is in a precarious situation right here. Randy Price in command of this match. Randy Price with a boot. Jordan Jacobs midsection. Nice chop by Randy Price. Like I said, fans, IZW World, this is just a preview of what you're going to see on May 16th, Sudden Impact, when the Impact Division Championship is defended against two other men in a fatal four-way. Randy Price, Jake O'Brien, Damian Morte, Jordan Jacobs, the current champion, and he might not be champion by the time we get to Sudden Impact. Whoa! Randy Price throws Jordan Jacobs into the corner post. He could have broken a rib, maybe a vertebrae. And it's very possible by Sudden Impact that we could have a new Impact Division champion going into that fatal four-way with the title being on the line in this match against Randy Price. Now Price tossing Jordan Jacobs into the ring. Two count from the referee. Now Randy Price goes for the cover again, gets a two count again. Jordan Jacobs trying to get the IZW world behind him, but Randy Price is gonna have none of it. Going for it here, belly to back. Oh, nice slam. Randy Price hooks the leg, goes to the cover. Oh, that was a two and a half right there. He almost had a new Impact Division champion. And here's the thing, regardless of who wins this match, the champion will be at a disadvantage in that fatal four way because they'll have to face three other men and could lose the championship without being pinned himself. Randy Price picking up Jordan Jacobs and squaring him into the corner. Goes a punch right to the jaw of Jordan Jacobs. Looks like he may be going for a superplex. Jordan Jacobs firing back, forearms. Clubbing forearms to the back of Randy Price. And a forearm to the face that knocks Price off the ropes. Now Jacobs up on the top. Here he comes. He's got him. Both men are down. Both men are down. And it's an impact rules match. 
Chris Smith administering the count. Does he just count both men out? But Jordan Jacobs now covering Randy Price. Not able, oh, just barely. Randy Price just barely kicked out. Jacobs couldn't hook the leg. If he'd have hooked the leg, this match would have been over. Randy Price is reeling at this point. Jacobs, whoa, kicks to the chest of Randy Price. One solid stud. Reversal, tossing Jacobs into the corner. Randy Price goes to the corner. This is Jordan Jacobs, double knees by Jordan Jacobs. And here he goes. Oh, double knees to the face of Randy Price, and this may be it. I guess we had a kick out there, barely, by Randy Price. Referee Chris Smith is in position. Apparently Randy Price has grabbed the lower rope. I missed that, I couldn't see it from my angle. Randy Price tries to double chop. Double axe out of low, he's got, he's, oh, backbreaker. Price hook on, work Jacobs into a backbreaker, goes for the cover, oh, just barely two and three quarters. Jacobs is able to kick out. And now Randy Price just gonna slow the pace of the match. Reaching on the midsection of Jordan Jacobs. Jacobs trying to work his way up out of this gut wrench clamp that Randy Price had on him. Knee to the midsection again. Look at the bruises on the back of Jordan Jacobs. This has been a brutal impact division championship match. Got Price going for the pile driver. Jacobs able to work his way out of it. Going for the submission. He's trying to get Randy Price to tap out. Price is trying to work his way to the ropes, but I don't think he can reach the ropes. Jacobs has got that arm wrenched. He's about to get the submission. Price, no, that makes his way to the ropes, breaks the hold. Well, Brandy Price is smart, and that's what he's doing. He's, he's getting out of the ring, trying to provide separation between him himself and the Impact Division champion. Randy back up on the apron. Oh, drops Jordan Jacobs across the ropes. Now Randy Price heading to the top. What's he gonna do once he's up here? Frog splash, oh, he rolls through. Jacobs moved out of the way, oh! Drop kick, drops Randy Price. Jordan Jacobs going to the top rope. There he goes, oh, he got it, Randy Price is down. This may be it. A successful defense by Lights Out Jordan Jacobs of the Impact Division Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, and still, your IDW Impact Division Champion, Lights Out Jordan Jacobs! Lights Out Jordan Jacobs survives. Another Impact Division Championship defense against one solid stud, Randy Price. But there's no guarantee that he's gonna walk out a sudden impact with that championship when he faces three other men. One solid stud, Randy Price, Jake O'Brien, and Damian Forte in a fatal four-way match for the Impact Division Championship. The world is certainly happy to see Jordan Jacobs walk out with that championship. But come May 16th, it's set an impact. 
They may not have smiles on their faces. Because any one of those four men could walk out in back division champions. And the odds in a fatal four-way are always stacked against the champion. What a brutal match. Both men sustaining tremendous punishment in this Impact Rules match for the Impact Division Championship. Jordan Jacobs certainly got the better of Randy Price, but he's gonna have to have his full game at Sudden Impact on May 16th. Randy Price, oh! He may have broken his foot there on the steps. Jawing with the IZW World. That would certainly be a mistake. Bobby, no one's gonna burgle us. 
This is disrespect, Bobby, is what I'm talking about. The SmackDown people stole our stuff. That's all right, we're going to get it back. Right now, you and me, we're going to go to SmackDown, and we're going to get our stuff back. They're trying to humiliate us. No SmackDown, ladies. They're going to take our stuff. They're going to take our stuff. IZW World, one thing I have not talked enough about is the finals of the Impact Player of the Year Tournament. Bad Brad Michaels, who, as he said earlier tonight, has gone through some stiff competition to earn his way into the finals against the liar Jeffrey Wolfenbarger. And Double D, as we saw last week, the championship match was signed. Double D is going to face the IZW champion Jermaine Johnson for that IZW championship. Double D claims he never lost that title. Well, he can claim that all he wants, but he's getting his opportunity to face Jermaine Johnson for the IZW championship. May 16th at Sudden Impact. So many good things. The fatal four-way we just talked about. Randy Price, Jordan Jacobs, Jake O'Brien, Damian Morte. Jordan Jacobs defended his championship tonight against Randy Price for the Impact Division Championship, but he'll have to face three other men at Sudden Impact to retain the Impact Division Championship. And on his way to the ring, the Hall of Famer and the man I picked to win the Impact Player of the Year Tournament, Mad Brad Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Coming to the ring first from Front Street, Bad XGA, the Baddest Street in the whole USA, CEO of the OSA, Bad Brad Michael. Brad Michaels, a man who feels he's, feels he's been disrespected by IZW, not being added to the Hall of Impact, not being recognized as a Hall of Famer in this business. There are very few men in this business that are as respected as Bad Brad Michaels. And the very fact that IZW does not recognize that he is a Hall of Famer, I'm certainly, certainly puts a bad taste in his mouth. But he may just put a bad taste in this kid's mouth, the IZW, former IZW champion, and the man who claims he never lost that championship, and the man who thinks he's going to beat Jermaine Johnson by sudden impact for the IZW championship. Double D, who may have stepped in it tonight by trying to take his, take on too much, trying to face the Hall of Famer, Brad, Brad Michael. You don't turn your back on the Hall of Famer, Bad Brad Michael. Double D's keeping an eye over his shoulder, but hell, I'd never turn my back on that guy. No telling what he might do. You can hear the IZW world chanting Double D. Certainly some in the IZW world believe he's going to come out of sudden impact as the IZW champion. We saw that match signed last week. Jermaine Johnson, Double D, for the IZW championship at sudden impact May 16th. You need to get your tickets now. They are going fast, and this place is full tonight. Just imagine what it's gonna be like May 16th at sudden impact. Both men locking right up, hammer and tong. 
Bad Brad Michaels looking like he has the advantage, but Double D now backing front. Michaels into the ropes. Well, Double D's back is to the ropes. And there's Michaels in the corner. Referee Paul Shoemaker administering a two count, almost getting in the way there. Both men are still locked up. Neither wants to give an inch. Bad Brad with the side headlock. He has that wrenched in. That's the experience right there of Bad Brad Michaels. Now, reversal with a hammerlock. Double D now with a side headlock. Applied, applied to Bad Brad Michaels. Forearms by Michaels. Overhand wrist lock. Neither man is able to gain a complete advantage at this point. Double D stepping behind the leg of Bad Brad Michaels. Now right back into a side headlock. Notice the way Michaels applies the headlock. Double D though, forearms his way out of it. Throwing forearms in the corner to Bad Brad Michaels. Double D now, trying to toss Michaels to the buckle. Michaels reverses Double D up to the top. Yes, Michaels right in the mouth. And now Double D up, he may be going for the cross body right now. This may be over with. Goes for the cross body, catches Michaels. He got one, two, oh, barely kicked out. But Michaels, a Hall of Famer, was able to work his way out of that cross body just barely. Instead, Double D trying to appeal to the IZW world. He should be trying to capitalize on this. He almost had the three count right there. Stomping Michaels in the back. Now to the neck, I believe he caught him. Oh, and a kick right to the midsection. That has Michael stunned. Michaels is already at a disadvantage in this match. This may be short work for Double D. I'm, I'm really surprised. Michaels is still my pick for the Impact Player of the Year, but he's certainly been caught off guard in this match so far. Oh, and uh, Double D went for a crossbody into the corner. Michaels, with the experience, moves out of the way. Michaels is still hurting. But he's able to catch Double D with a boot to the midsection. Well, and catches D, uh, holds on as he tosses Double D into the ropes. Once again, throwing a knee, and now a rush to this week. Got a two count out of that. And he may be right, Paul Shoemaker, referee Paul Shoemaker may have been slow on Michaels with a knee to the cranium of Double D, and that has Double D reeling. Now just an old-fashioned choke across the rope. Michaels will use every trick, every tool that he can. Oh, nice forearm. The back of Double D, that resounded throughout the IZW arena. Nice chop as well. Now Double D has the tables turned on him. And he is certainly on the defensive. Another shot by Michaels. God, oh, headbutt may have stunned Michaels just as much as it stunned Double D. Now burning Double D across the top rope. He's trying to fight back. Double D is trying to fight back, but Michaels now with a step there. Takes Double D over. Leg drop. Goes for a cover and hooks the leg. Double D is able to kick out at two and a half. Michaels grabbing the rear chin lock. Trying to cut off the air supply, the blood flow. I would say to the brain of Double D, but I don't know how much of a brain this guy has. 
Double D with an elbow catching Michaels. He's still trying to hold on with that rear chin lock. Goes to throw a punch. Double D catches the arm, wraps both arms up. Knee to the side, another knee to the side. And this may be a, oh, drops Michaels. Goes for the cover, hooks the leg. Michaels is just barely able to kick out. Shoemaker's hand was coming down for a three right there. And Michaels kicked out in the last moment. The double D may be going back up, trying to go for another cross body. Was he almost defeated Michaels earlier in the match with that cross body? Oh! Catches Michaels in the chin. But I think I think Michaels caught double D as well with a super kick to the midsection. Both men are stunned. Michaels is able to roll over, get the cover, hook the leg. Oh, just barely. Double D is able to kick out, but just at the last moment. I don't blame Michaels. I think that was a slow kick. Now Michaels just rubbing Double D's face into the mat. Knee to the side of the head. Now just stomping Double D into the corner. Oh, nice job. And that has Double D in a bad situation. Another headbutt that stuns Michaels as well. But Double D has certainly taken the brunt of that. Michael's just choking Double D in the corner. Double D is down. Michael's is certainly using his, his experience. Double D's trying to fire back, but an elbow right to the top of the head. Double D fires back. Once again, firing back. Double D kind of pushes Michael's into the, whoa, what a kick. That was quite a maneuver. He goes, oh, he hits him with a side kick. Goes for a cover, hooks the leg. And Michaels is able to kick out of that. Spinning heel kick, put Michaels down for a two count. Double D now with the advantage and the upper hand. As Michaels in the corner. This match has gone back and forth. Shot by Double D. <laughs> that, that knocks Michaels out of his feet. Almost knocked him out of his wrestling boots. Double D's trying to tie up by Brad Michaels in the ropes. Goes for another shot. Michaels certainly felt that one. Catching Michaels with a chop out of the corner. This could be it. Goes for the cover, hooks the leg. And once more, Michaels is able to kick out at just the last moment. Double D now stalking Bad Brad Michaels. Trying to go for the defacer, Michaels pushes Double D off, tries to catch, tries to catch Double D with a super kick. D catches him with a knee to the head, goes for the cover. Oh, and just barely once again, Michaels is able to kick out and escape from being pinned by Double D. These two men have a destiny. At sudden impact on May 16th, Double D is facing Jermaine Johnson for the IZW Championship. Bad Brad Michaels is facing Jeffrey Wolfenbarger for the Impact Player of the Year Tournament Finals. Both men have huge futures ahead of them on May 16th. But right now, both men are trying to gain a win over the other. Double D now going for the knees in the corner. Michaels drops Double D face first into the turnbuckle. 
but both men are stunned from the punishment they have, they, they have received in this match. Michael back to his feet, double axe handle. And he must be just raking at the eyes. I can't see from my, uh, no, he's choking, double D. Kicking Double D in the back of the head as he lays prone or lays over the ropes. Now choking the life out of Double D. Referee Paul Shoemaker is just at two. Michaels could have used a four count right there and still not been disqualified. Both men back and forth, forearms by Bad Brad. Punches, side punches from Double D. Forearms by Double D that knocks Bad Brad into the corner. Both men back and forth. Oh, what a kick. That sends Michaels to the corner. Double D is down, holding his stomach. Whoa. Michaels tossing Double D over the top rope, and oh, what a kick to the side of the head. Michaels is stunned. Double D mounts the top rope, goes with a crossbody, rolls through. Michaels picking up, oh, there we are with the face sir. Double D with a cover and the hook of the leg. There's the three count. Your winner. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Double Double D was able to change the momentum and catch Bad Brad Michaels with the defacer. Your winner, the man who will face Jermaine Johnson at Sudden Impact for the IZW Championship. The title that he believes he was unrightfully, that was unrightfully taken away from him. Double D gets the win over possibly the future Impact Player of the Year, Bad Brad Michael. The world is certainly behind Double D. But when it comes to the IZW Championship, he will be facing Jermaine Johnson. And we'll just have to see at that time if the IZW world takes a side. Double D's complained for over a year that he never lost that championship and he's gonna get his opportunity to face Jermaine Johnson one-on-one -on -one for the IZW Championship at Sudden Impact on May 16th. Well, now's your chance to party with your favorite 
IZW Superstar. See yourself on the big screen while you experience your own personalized entrance. Customized cake and bounce house available. Hop into the ring and go crazy. And then take the memories home on DVD and Blu-ray. Call 580-699-7IZW and party like an IZW Superstar. sanctuary of impact and it is looking good in here I want to talk about something new I want to talk about the fixinator Mark Wilson Mark you've done a great job of doing what you do best and that is screwing up you have got me in a fatal four-way match May 16th at Sudden Impact for my Impact Division Championship. The belt I never lost. The belt named after me. Randy Bryce, Jordan Jacobs, and Jake O'Brien. Three men that I will destroy May 16th. Three men who I will end and get my title rightfully back around my waist. Sudden impact. I will once again show the IZW world why they call me Impact! Well, I gave this guy his opportunity at Sudden Impact for the Impact Division Championship. I hope he doesn't blow it. Hey, I gave him his opportunity. I fixed his situation. It's going to be a hell of a match, and I'm going to tell you something. He may very well come out with that Impact Division Championship because I think the deck is completely stacked against Jordan Jacobs, and it always is in a fatal four-way. Jordan Jacobs, Jake O'Brien, Damian Morte, and Randy Price all face one another for the Impact Division Championship, a fatal four-way, and it will be Damian Morte's opportunity to prove himself at that point. It's going to be a great night at Sudden Impact. The main event, the natural born leader, Johnny Z. And my man, the facilitator, Damon Windsor, are going to behead Kevin Morgan and Al Snow. And speaking of the facilitator, my man, Damon Windsor, is about to lay some knowledge down on the IZW world. Ladies and gentlemen, My man. Man. this is the schedule for one fall. With a 15 minute time limit, coming to the ring first is the facilitator, David Windsor. Oh, yes, my man, David Winter. David Windsor, the facilitator. My best friend. Seven feet tall. Al Snow has never faced anybody like the facilitator David Windsor and the natural born leader Johnny Z. And when you throw Kevin Morgan in there, it's gonna be a hell of a match. But Impact Inc. 
will walk out the winners at Sudden Impact. Bank on it. care of impacting business. Referee Chris Smith has to hold the briefcase. David Windsor about to drop some knowledge on the IZW world. Pardon the interruption, but I've got a few words to say. Are you done? Are you done? You may have noticed that the beautiful, vivacious, gorgeous Lisa Gennaro is not by my side tonight. Lisa Gennaro! She is not a hoe, she is a lady! Something you know nothing about. Disgusting people. Lisa Gennaro is in talks with her attorney because Madam Queen Erica has put her hands on her one too many times. She is about to sue the pants off Erica and anyone she's ever known. But that leads me to me, the most important subject of the night. I can't repeat what these people are saying. Moving on, you degenerate rejects. Tonight is about Impact Inc. As it always should be. Impact Inc. Impact Inc. Impact Inc. You suck. You suck. Tonight is about the greatest group of men ever assembled in Impact Inc. And it is about me. Quiet down. Quiet down. I'm talking. Tonight is about May 16th. Which you may have heard when myself and the natural born leader will go against Kevin Morgan and Al Snow. Well, let me explain something to you, Kevin Morgan. Let me explain something to you, Al Snow. Of all the accomplishments you've made in your career, of everything you've done, of all the heights you've hit, there's one thing you need to realize. Whether you are Madam Commissioner, the Queen of IZW, whether you are the image of fear, or whether you are a former WWE and TNA superstar like Al Snow, the one thing you need to realize is that we are Impact Inc. and we run this place. Absolutely. I don't care who you are from Al Snow, Kevin Morgan, Erica, even your IZW champion, Jermaine Johnson. We are impacting, we call the shots, and if you don't like it, we don't care. Amen, brother. Amen. And here's the man who is going to face Double D 
in a defense and of his, his IBW championship. He is your IBW champion, the leader of the hype section, Jermaine Johnson! The IZW champion, Jermaine Johnson. Preparing to face the facilitator, my man, Damon Windsor, one on one. Two weeks before such an impact. Last week we saw the IZW champion take on Bolt Brady in a surprising match. Brady had his moments of greatness, but it was Jermaine Johnson who emerged from that match victorious. And this week he takes on the seven foot tall facilitator, Damon Windsor. Well, the IZW world thinks Jermaine Johnson's got this. I think it's going to be a different story. I think you're, I think Damon Windsor's going to emerge in this match with a victory over the IZW champion in this non-title match. Broke off at the end. Damon Windsor taking his time before he gets into the ring. The bell has not even sounded yet. Smart strategy on the part of the facilitator. I'm so hurt by your comment right there. Did you tell me I suck? Last I check. Hey, Annalyn, I want you to go ahead and grab that big shiny thing over there. Cause last I checked, here's your part. Go ahead and raise that bug up. Last I checked, I'm the ICW champion down. I don't suck. And if you want people to chant something, I'll help you out. Hype section! Hype section! We got this! We got this! We got this! We got this! The IZW world thinks they got this. But Jermaine Johnson's about to face the facilitator. So right you get your cut big cut. lumpy ass in here and I'm going to kick it for the hype section. Hey, Jermaine Johnson, when it's nut cut time, Damon Windsor steps up and gets the job done. So don't be mouthing Damon Windsor. But look at him. He's trying to go after Damon Windsor before the bell even is, is rung. Every Chris Miss got to get in control of this match. Well, the match hasn't even started. Damon Windsor's taking his time. He hasn't even entered the ring yet. What a chicken move by the IZW champion, Jermaine Johnson. Trying to go right after Damon Windsor before he even gets in the ring. It's his fault that the match hasn't started yet. Jermaine Johnson will just stay in a neutral corner. Hell, Damon. Damon Winter would have already been him by this time. Damon Windsor now trying to 
to make his way back into the ring. Still jawing with the IZW world. Similar to the strategy that Randy Price used earlier, although the match had already started. Damon Windsor is setting the pace. Damon Windsor is saying when he will come in the ring. Damon Windsor is the one who is going to make the decision on when it's time to lock up. Keeping the IZW champion Jermaine Johnson in anticipation. And there we have the bell. The match has officially begun. Jermaine Johnson at Sudden Impact will be facing Double D in the defense of his IZW championship. The facilitator, David Windsor, meanwhile, will be teaming with the natural born leader, Johnny Z, to face the image of fear, Kevin Morgan and Al Snow. This is one of the biggest nights at IZW. And you certainly want to get your tickets as soon as possible. Damon Windsor works his way to the ropes, trying to break the count, trying to break the hold of Jermaine Johnson. Jermaine Johnson puts his hands on Damon Windsor's hair, a perfectly coiffed head of hair, by the way. Jermaine Johnson wouldn't know anything about it, didn't have any. A lockup. Jermaine Johnson is able to gain the advantage with a side headlock on the much larger facilitator, David Windsor. Windsor trying to use his size advantage. Shoulder tackle. And that takes Jermaine Johnson, the IZW champion, down. Well, that's a, an omen of things to come for the IZW champion. This may be a very short night. Certainly, David Windsor, if he were to win this match, would be given an opportunity for the IZW Championship at some point in the future. Another hammer and tong lockup. Once again, Jermaine Johnson goes with the side headlock on the rangy, much taller, much larger Damon Windsor. Windsor backing the champion into the corner, into the ropes, tossing him into the ropes. Goes for a clothesline, misses. Damon Windsor went for a forearm to the head, now goes for a drop kick. Throws a forearm once again at Damon Windsor, tosses him into the ropes. Spinning heel kick, knocks Damon Windsor down. And Windsor deciding to take a moment, take a breather, take your time, Damon. Take your time. <laughs> Trying to call a timeout. Referee Chris Smith obviously doesn't recognize what that means as he continues to count. He's up to four now. David Windsor smart, taking his time, breaking the momentum of the match, which was certainly in the favor of Jermaine Johnson. Jermaine Johnson trying to stalk Damon Windsor. Now kicks the ropes, totally unfair, totally illegal. That hit Damon Windsor, you know, down there where it hurts bad. And that wasn't the solar plexus. And now Jermaine Johnson just showing his true colors. He's gonna try to stop, well, makes better of it. Stomping Damon Windsor in the midsection. 
That was in the solar plexus. Now Windsor, he needs to take a break. Instead, Jermaine Johnson is right on top of him, tossing him into the, uh, the barrier, the railing. And now throwing Windsor again into the steps, head first. That certainly rocked Damon Windsor. He is completely stunned. I don't even think he knows where he is at this point. That shows you what kind of champion you have right here. Jermaine Johnson now trying to choke Damon Windsor on the steps. Now trying to toss Windsor into the barrier instead. Oh, there goes Jermaine Johnson back first into the wooden barrier. Damon Windsor now in control of the IZW champion. Tossing Jermaine Johnson into the apron. Johnson rolls back into the ring. Damon Windsor now working his way back into the ring. He's ready to press the advantage, but Jermaine Johnson throwing a ham hock into the bread basket of Damon Windsor and now just throwing his illegal punches. These are totally illegal. Tossing Windsor into the ropes. Now a reversal by Windsor. Catching a high slam on the IZW champion. Jermaine Johnson goes with the cover. Hooks the leg. A two and a half count right there. Jermaine Johnson barely able to kick out. Facilitator, though, is going to have to capitalize on this situation because he has the IZW champion rocking a reeling, throwing fists into the jaw of Damon Windsor. Now, just backing Windsor into the ropes. Elbow, elbow, elbow. There he goes. Final forearm knocks Jermaine Johnson down. The IZW champion may be, this may be it, cover. Two and a half. And Damon Windsor believes he's close to closing in on victory over the IZW champion. I mean, what a way if Jermaine Johnson were to lose this match to to walk, to walk into Sudden Impact having lost a non-title matchup and then have to face Double D, the man who claims he never lost that championship. Jermaine Johnson in the ropes, and black hole slam. Got the cover. Oh! I don't know if there was much more that Windsor could have done there. He hooked both legs, and yet Jermaine Johnson was able to find a way to power out before the referee hit three. I think Windsor thinks he's got it over with right now. Looks like he may be setting up Jermaine Johnson, the IZW champion for a choke slam. Here it comes. If he hits this, it'll be all over. Jermaine Johnson, though, tossing it oh. Taking down Damon Windsor. Jermaine Johnson now with the IZW world behind him. Damon Windsor works his way up into the corner. Jermaine Johnson throws a forearm. Johnson, a second forearm to the facilitator, Damon Windsor. Three, four kicks. That has the facilitator, Damon Windsor, in a bad predicament. He goes for a clothesline. Jermaine Johnson, side effect. Side effect on Damon Windsor. Jermaine Johnson. 
working his way up to the second rope. Damon Windsor trying to make his way to his feet. Does he have what it takes to thwart what Jermaine Johnson? Whoa! That's the music of Double D. And now Double D is out here. Jermaine Johnson was setting Damon Windsor up for the ES2. And now, what is Double D trying to make his way into the ring? He gets in there as to be a disqualification. Instead, Damon Windsor catches the IZW champion. Choke slam. Goes for the cover, hooks the leg. And that's it. Off the distraction by Double D. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner. Damon Windsor has just defeated the IZW champion, Jermaine Johnson. And I am certain that this is not what Jermaine Johnson had in mind tonight. I think Jermaine Johnson thought he was just gonna cruise into sudden impact. Unblemished, undefeated, and instead off the distraction from Double D, his opponent. His opponent at sudden impact. Damon Windsor, the facilitator, gains a win over the IZW champion, Jermaine Johnson. Well, Double D is certainly not afraid to play some mind games himself. And if Jermaine Johnson gets distracted like this at sudden impact, he will lose that IZW championship to Jermaine Two, double D. Jermaine Johnson is absolutely beside himself. He just allowed himself to be distracted and lost a non-title match to the facilitator, David Windsor. Well, Jermaine Johnson better have his A game in two weeks at Sudden Impact, May 16th, or his IZW championship will become the property of Double D. This has to be one of the most shocking losses I have ever seen in the Impact Arena. I'm not surprised because I knew Damon Windsor could do it. But Jermaine Johnson in the IZW world has to be questioning now whether Jermaine Johnson has what it takes to defeat Double D at sudden impact. Steve Blitz, 
champion himself, Jordan Jacobs. I come down to the ring, I demand a one-on-one -on -one match. And what does he do? He tells me to speak louder. You can't hear me down there, little man. I'm coming back to you later. Randy Price, you come and stick your nose in my business. You say because you beat Jordan Jacobs, you deserve an Impact Division Championship shot. Well, get in line, one solid stud, because I've done that not once, but twice. And we'll touch on that later. And then, lo and behold, one half of the co-commissioners, Mark Wilson, comes down and says, Davey Morte gets an Impact Division Championship shot before me, before Shake O'Brien. Yeah, I almost called myself what you people used to call me, but no more. And see, I've already explained that. And then the other half of the co-commissionership, Sean Number One McHale comes down and makes my night even worse because he makes it a vital four-way at sudden impact. Not me and Jordan Jacobs one-on-one. -on -one. But guess what? That's bound to happen. That's going to happen. Because on May 9th, I'm going to make it happen. Jordan, you're going to hear me loud and clear on May 9th when I say, here comes trouble. Well, the return of Paige Turner. And I think she's got a lot to say to Queen Chrissy Van. Erica. You know what they say about car girls. Paige Turner's trying to get the library here to shut the hell up. Well, I, if she could do it, I'd, I'd probably pay her double. Get these people to sh get these people to shut their mouths. Be quiet. Don't talk. Why are you telling me to be quiet? You guys are the ones that are supposed to be quiet. Thank you. Are you listening to me? 
is the biggest compliment you can give me? Bookworm! 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 Thank you! Thank you! But let me give you another chance. Tonight, instead of chanting, thank you, Erica, you're going to be chanting, thank you, Paige! Thank you, Paige! Thank you, Paige. Well, I say thank you, Paige, all night long if she can beat Erica out of the IZW Queens crowd. Thank you, Paige! Anything to get rid of Erica. She has overstayed her welcome. And you know I'm telling the truth because I'm a librarian and I know everything. Well, Paige certainly has quieted things down here, but... Ah, oh, the dancing queen. The queen of IZW. Queen Erica, making her way to the ring to defend against Paige Turner. Turner could get rid of Erica. That could be one of the best things that ever happened in my life. I am so sick of seeing this chick around here. She needs to be back in the kitchen cooking pancakes. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit and it's for the IZW's Queen's Crown. Introducing first, your challenger. She is Paige Turner! And by the end of the night, she'll be the new queen of IZW. And her opponent, she is your reigning and defending queen of IZW, Erica! IZW world is certainly behind the queen of IZW, Erica. But that doesn't mean anything. Paige Turner is here. She's driven a long way. She studied all week. She's been in the library. She's told people to pipe down. She's told people to simmer down. She's told people to shut up. And she's about to shut up the self-professed queen of IZW, Erica. Referee Daniel Shoemaker checking both women out. I'm sure that was the biggest thrill of his night. Both women lock up. Collar and elbow. Paige Turner, though, getting the advantage, pushing Queen Erica back into the corner. Erica certainly has the IZW world in her corner. Once again goes for a lockup. And now pushes Paige Turner back into the corner. Finally a break. I'm telling you, Queen Erica is not the squeaky clean girl that everybody thinks she is. And Paige Turner is probably one of the most righteous girls to ever walk in to the IZW arena. And my money tonight, this is the big fight of the night, my money is on Paige Turner to walk out with that Queen's crown. Throwing uh, shoulders into Queen Erica 
And she's got Erica in a bad situation right now. Tossing her head first into the turnbuckle. Grabbing a handful of Erica's hair. Once again into the turnbuckle. And now just choking Erica with her boot. Using the entire four count. Would be disqualified at five. Smart, 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 uh, smart choice by Paige Turner. Exercise the four count. Once again, trying to choke Erica. Erica trying to get the IZW world behind her, but Paige Turner just throwing forearms to the back. She's already cut off the blood supply. Now she's tossing Erica into the corner. Follows it up with a clothesline of sorts. Body tackle clothesline. And Erica's in a bad predicament. Turner tossing Erica into the ropes. Goes for a clothesline, misses, and punch by Erica. Now drops her head first. Whoa, got a two count out of it. Erica throwing a solid forearm, but Paige Turner throws one right back in a second. Third, and has Erica rocking and reeling in the ropes, tossing Erica into the ropes. Oh, what a close one. That took Erica completely off her game right there. Snapped her head back, head first into the mat. Paige Turner goes for cover, hooks the leg, just with one count. Paige Turner trying to go for a slam. She's not able to hold it. Erica tries to go for a roll up. Paige Turner holds onto the ropes, goes for a clothesline, cross body. Paige Turner caught her, all the way slam. Paige Turner goes for the cover, hooks the leg, and a two count. Erica's able to kick out. Paige Turner is in full control of this match. Stopping the lower back. Now Paige Turner with a snap there. Takes Queen Erica over. Paige Turner's got a almost a rear chin lock, almost a sleeper hole. Once again trying to cut off the blood, su blood supply, blood supply and the airflow. You can't breathe, you can't win. Erica throwing elbows. Oh! Takes Paige Turner over. Hits the ropes, kicks Paige Turner square in the back. Drop kick. Goes for cover herself. It's a one, two, and Turner's able to get his shoulder up. For the count of three. Erica stomping on Paige Turner, but Paige Turner caught her in the throat, I believe, with that forearm. Turner throwing Erica into the ropes. Oh, what a boot. Once again, bouncing Erica's head off the mat. Turner, though, instead of going for a cover, picks Erica up, snap marries her over, pulls her hair back down and throws her, once again trying to discombobulate Erica. Once again with another snap mare. Throws her head right back into the ring. Uh, it's very possible that Paige Turner's trying to, uh, trying to get a concussion on Erica here. She's really worked on the head. And now, oh, just uh, a swanton. Goes for a cover. Gets a one, gets a two, and Erica is able to kick out just before the three count. And Paige Turner's not happy with that. She thought she should have the three count right there. Now going for a suplex, takes Erica over. Turner not going for a cover there either. Picks Erica up, going for a body slam, slams her right down. Cover and hooks the leg. And once again a two count and Erica is able to kick out.
Erica throwing shots. Pushes Turner into the corner, catches it. Page Turner with a clothesline. And now a running elbow. Eric is trying to fight her way back into this match. Slice Fred. Boom! There it goes for the cover. And once again, a kick out from Paige Turner. Erica, though, in control of this match at this juncture. Paige Turner catching it with a forearm, though. Now going for a swinging neck breaker. And that's brilliant strategy because Paige had been working on the neck and the head earlier in the match. Picks Erica back up. Erica, though, oh, kick to the rump, I guess you could put it. Tries to go for another kick. Paige Turner catches her with a knee to the midsection. Going for a pump handle. I believe slam. Erica though floats over. Boom! Catches her. That's the mascara. That's it. The mascara is the finisher that puts Paige Turner down. Your and Erica. winner and still the queen of ICW, Erica. Erica again retains her queen's crown and defeat Paige Turner. <laughs> Erica has been on a tear and on a winning streak, and I hate to admit it, but she is looking strong, perhaps stronger than she's ever appeared in her entire career. Once again, your winner, the queen of IZW, as she retains her crown against Paige Turner. Paige Turner on her way to the back of the library now.
the wrongful tag team champions. You know, why are we the wrongful tag team champions? Because these gods wanted it to be so. I'm, I'm sorry, Graham. What? This, we were doing this, is all, this is all wrong. This isn't. This isn't right. Oh, you're full, full team bullcrap. Team full. No, I get what you're bull doing. Crap. But first of all, okay, here. That's a start. Now it does look better. on That you. looks. You know, that's an improvement. Obviously. Oh, no, you look a little bit like Bob. I. You know, that's the whole. The, the, you need to get out of here. You know what? It's my first time. I'm sure. You know what I think? You know what I think is really up. bothering you, though? What? Mount Olympus really didn't meet expectations. You know, that's what I was getting to. That's the other thing that's wrong. I mean, I, the the brochures and the way that Team Bullcrap talked about it, I thought Mount Olympus was gonna be Grand. the Ritz, man. I thought yeah. Mount Olympus was gonna be this grandiose thing. I'm positive you read that map wrong. No, the map is... No, no, because no. this isn't the Mount Olympus I thought we were getting. This is barely a null. This is not a mount at all. This is... This like, is... It's like South this Central. This is disappointing. Olympus. You know what? I'm positive. I'm positive this isn't the right place. You know what? Let's go back and check the book out. No! We can't open that book again. Hey! What, what the hell are you doing? You think... How dare you? How dare you burgle us? You burgled us? Oh, we, we burgled you. You're crazy. You're the snack down. You're trying to make us throw. Yeah. You took my rope. Give me my rope. Give me my hair now. Give me my hair. Come down here and get it. 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 Come down away March 16th sudden impact the main event the natural born leader Johnny Z I said May 16th natural born leader Johnny Z will be teaming up with the facilitator Damon Windsor to face Al Snow and the image of fear Kevin Morgan who is going to be Kevin Morgan in our main event along with the other contestant in the impact player of the year tournament Jeffrey Wolfenbarger, the attorney. These two are about to face each other in our main event right here in the IZW world. The, the main. Let's see what's going to happen in tonight's main event when Jeffrey Wolfenbarger faces the image of fear of Kevin Morgan. I hope they beat the living hell out of each other and don't make it to sudden impact. That would be great. <laughs> I swear, man, I am not kidding. I have two Ladies attorneys on my payroll this week, and this is not one of them. Event. I wouldn't trust this guy with anything. It's scheduled for one fall with a 30-minute time limit. Coming to the ring first, he is the attorney, Jeff Wolfenbarger. Boy, this is gonna make my night when these two just beat the hell out of each other. Damon Windsor 
And since this is the Impact Arena, and since those guys are my guys at Impact Inc., all of my money, bank on it, Impact Inc. will walk out that night as winners. Jeffrey Wolfenbarger facing Bad Brad Michaels in the finals of the Impact Player of the Year tournament. May 16th, Sudden Impact. But tonight, in our main event, these two will face off against each other. And I hope there's nothing left when this match is over. the bell. The attorney Jeffrey Wolfenbarger and the image of fear Kevin Morgan preparing to lock up. Uh, there's a little show of respect. Come on. This is a business. We're not here to make friends. We're out here to win matches. Wolfenbarger locks up, but of course Kevin Morgan, the bigger, the stronger. Pushes Wolfenbarger back into the ropes. Well, look at that. We got a clean break from the image of fear. I don't expect him to be so generous on May 16th, the sudden impact in his tag match with Al Snow as he faces the natural born leader, Johnny Z, and the facilitator, Damon Windsor. Once again, these two lock up. Side headlock applied by Jeffrey Wolfenbarger to the much larger Kevin Morgan. Morgan, though, trying to work his way into an overhand wrist lock, and he does. Works his way into a reversal into a side headlock. Now Wolfenbarger feeling the effects of that. Working on his way to elbow out. He's trying to hook the leg, sweep the leg, but he can't do it. Kevin Morgan's just too strong. Nice trying to do a kind of a rear chin lock, hooking the arm inside. Side headlock once again by Jeffrey Wolfenbarger. Morgan picking Wolfenbarger up, tossing him into the ropes. Now just a clothesline. Knocks Wolfenbarger down. Wolfenbarger stunt from that. Certainly Kevin is showing that he has the most power. He's got the size and the strength advantage. And now lays all that size and strength into Jeffrey Wolfenbarger in the corner. Wolfenbarger moves out of the way. Kevin caught his knee. And that may be just what Jeffrey Wolfenbarger needed. Now he's just going for a, 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 a shoulder tackle on the knee. Stepping over. Hooking the leg. It's a smart idea on Jeffrey Wolfenbarger's part to chop the much larger Kevin Morgan down to size. And now he's got Kevin with his back on the mat. Of course, Jeffrey realizes that Kevin is much more powerful than he is. Kevin Morgan may very well be the strongest man on the IZW roster. Drops a leg onto Kevin Morgan's injured left leg. Jeff throws a couple of shots and now drops the knee on the back of the leg, steps over once again. He may be trying to get a submission here. I doubt that Kevin Morgan's going to submit. And now Kevin Morgan kicks Jeffrey Wolfenbarger off with the good leg, the right knee. Kevin, though, though, has certainly sustained some punishment and some injury to that left knee. And this is exactly what I wanted when I set this match up earlier tonight. I want these two to just beat the living hell out of each other. I don't want anything left by the time we get to sudden impact. I don't want anything left of Kevin Morgan and Bad Brad Michaels certainly doesn't want anything left of Jeffrey Wolfenbarger as he tries to become the impact player of the year. But Jeff goes back to that left leg and it's smart strategy on his part. Step over to old once again. Gets a one count out of it. 
working on that left knee. Throwing punches at the knees, in fact. Evan Morgan, though, trying to get the IZW world behind him. And I think it's working. It's half the IZW world is chanting for Kevin Morgan. Now, Kevin takes Jeff down and has Jeff's left leg hook. Still has not got him in a position to do a whole lot of damage, but and it's probably because Kevin Morgan's left knee is, is, has been damaged early in this match. Now you can see right there, Kevin Morgan's having a hard time walking around on that left knee. Takes Jeffrey Wolfenbarger up. Body slam. By Kevin Morgan, and he, goes, he drops the leg. This may be it. Morgan, though, was unable to hook the leg there. Got a two count out of it. Jeff Wolfenbarger now just a drop kick to Kevin Morgan's injured left leg. Once again, chopping Morgan down. And I don't like Jeffrey Wolfenbarger, but this is sound strategy on his part. This may not be too smart, though. He's going to the top. Kevin is able to work his way over to the corner, go to the shot at Jeffrey Wolfenbarger. Chop. Well, Jeff is caught on the top rope. Well, is Morgan going for a superplex here? Oh, this could be. This could be the end of the match right here. Jeffrey's firing back though with shots to the midsection of Kevin Morgan. Pushing Morgan down. And Wolfenbarger. Now making his way to the top rope. And Morgan's down. Both men are down. Jeffrey Chris Smith checking on both men, but Jeffrey's made his way to his feet. Jeff Wolfenbarger thinks it's over. Going for the neck breaker. Kevin Morgan tosses him in the rope. Oh, spear! Spear! Both men are down. Wolfenbarger injured from that spear. Kevin Morgan's left knee is still injured from the damage sustained earlier in the match. Referee's count is at two. He very well could have a double count out here. Kevin Morgan unable to capitalize on the spear. Well, wait a minute. Here comes Bad Brad Michaels. What's he doing in the ring? Oh, super kick to Jeffrey Wolfenbarger. Well, that's smart on his part. He wanted to take out Wolfenbarger. Whoa, but a spear takes down Bad Brad Michaels from Kevin Morgan. Now Kevin Morgan now just grabbing hold of Bad Brad, picking him up. Uh, we may be getting ready to see the moment of fear. Well, here comes Damon Windsor. Oh, there's natural born leader Johnny C. Both men have hit the ring. This is obviously, this match is over with. Kevin Morgan trying to fight his way back. He's punching both Damon Windsor and uh, Jeffrey Wolfenbarger, but Bad Brad just caught Kevin Morgan with a super kick. Now both Wolfenbarger and Kevin Morgan are down. Meanwhile, Johnny Z and Damon Windsor are stomping the Stephens out of the image of fear, Kevin Morgan. This may be all that's left of Kevin Morgan. And we are two weeks away from sudden impact when Kevin Morgan and Al Snow are gonna face the natural born leader, Johnny Z, and the facilitator, Damon Windsor. Meanwhile, Bad Brad Michaels has a date with Destiny against the attorney, Jeffrey Wolfenbarger, in the finals of the Impact Player of the Year tournament. And they are getting they're getting some right now. Well, Kevin Morgan's up though. He's going toe to toe with David Windsor. Oh, and he hits Johnny Z. 
Johnny Z right back on him, and now it's a three-on-one situation. Now they're taking Kevin Morgan down and chopping him down to size. Johnny Z just choking Kevin Morgan. Fans, this may be exactly what you see at sudden impact. As Johnny Z and Damon Windsor take on Al Snow and Kevin Morgan. And my money is on Impact Inc. walking out. As well as Bad Brad Michaels, who will be facing the attorney Jeff Wolfenbarger in the finals of the Impact Player of the Year tournament. Johnny Z has wanted to eliminate Kevin Morgan from this business for over a year. And right now, it looks like he certainly may be doing that. As you see an embrace between Bad Brad Michaels and Johnny Z. Oh, Damon Moore, Damon Windsor stomping Kevin Morgan right in the head. Bad Brad with a stomp himself. Oh, the Johnny Z's right in there directing traffic. He said, get him up. We know what's coming now. Ah, this isn't going to be good for Kevin Morgan. Double goozle. Morgan is down. <laughs> Jeffrey Wolfenbarger is completely obliterated outside the ring. Kevin Morgan is laying on his back exactly the way he may be laying at sudden impact on May 16th in two weeks. Johnny Z is not finished. He picks his brother Jeffrey Wolfenbarger up and tosses him in to the steel steps. Johnny Z is laying the law down to the IZW world. Jeffrey Wolfenbarger decimated. Kevin Morgan decimated. And Damon Windsor and Johnny Z and Bad Brad Michaels are not done because Damon Windsor just tossed a chair into the ring. Oh my God, right on that left leg that was damaged earlier in the match with Jeffrey Wolfenbarger. Kevin Morgan may not make it to sudden impact in two weeks. Damon Windsor. Oh, one more from Johnny Z. A chair to the left leg. Johnny Z is making it clear. He doesn't care who Kevin Morgan brings in. In this particular case, at sudden impact, it's gonna be Al Snow. But oh, oh, he may have broken the he may have broken Kevin Morgan's leg right there. Damon Windsor set one chair up, Johnny Z crashed another chair into it. Here we go, one more time. Damon Windsor sets the chair up, Johnny Z. Oh my god. This is beautiful. Kevin Morgan. If he makes it to sudden impact, it will be on one leg. And I don't even know if Jeffrey Wolfenbarger is going to be at sudden impact after this. Bad Brad Michaels, Damon Windsor, and Johnny Z. They have just decimated Kevin Morgan, Jeffrey Wolfenbarger. This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my entire life. They're dragging Kevin Morgan over to the corner. Here it comes. Johnny Z winding up. Here it comes. Boo! Kevin Morgan. That's a simple taste of what he's going to get. That's sudden impact. 
Jay's 16. As he teams with Al Snow against Johnny Z and Damon Windsor and Bad Brad Michaels, if Jeffrey Wolfenbarger makes it. We'll be facing Jeffrey Wolfenbarger in the finals of the Impact Player of the Year Tournament. You don't want to miss it. You're going to be here. You better be here on May 16th. Sudden Impact. We are two weeks away, and what a way to walk out of the Impact Arena tonight with Johnny Z, David Windsor, and Bad Brad Michaels standing tall. Hey, I'm out of here, IZW World. I'm gonna go celebrate.
So if you've got some guts, get back in this ring and last fight! Unless Bad Brad Michaels, Nature Boy Mark Wilson, the refrigerator Damon Winter, and the natural born punk ass Johnny Z. Unless you four are scared. Chicken, 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 chicken. I get it, I get it, you guys, hey, hey, I get it, you're too honorable to face us four on two, right? That's what it is. I've got somebody else who will come out here and kind of even the odds, dude. Y'all want these odds even a little bit? Because... I know you're so dressed and ready to compete in your, in your gear right now, but maybe you four could face what wrestling should be and the number one contender to the ICW Championship, Double D. talk tonight and not some jackass loser like you. Loser. Loser. Yeah, last I checked, the facilitator, Damon Windsor, pinned your ass one, two, three in the center of that ring earlier tonight. So as far as I'm concerned, he should be facing you for the IZW championship at Sudden Impact just so he can win it and then give it to me the rightful owner of the IZW Championship. Okay, okay. Well, you've got a contract to win. The belt comes after that. Okay. Yo, hey. Okay, yeah. All I... pasty one. Mark, I think he's talking to you. I ain't talking I... to him. I'm talking, talking about the fake Mikey? army dude up there. Check this out one time. You think the refrigerator deserves the ICW championship? I see 
five men on the same page, and I think we want you because we got this. Hey, hey, fellas, fellas, come here. Let's talk real quick. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Okay. Okay. So, there's three of us and five of you. Now, Kevin Morgan's injured and Jordan Jacobs sucks. So, that means it's really three versus three. And Jeff Wolfenbarger's injured and he sucks. You, you saying the Impact Division champion sucks? Who's the loser wearing camo shorts, huh? Who wears camo shorts in 2015? I don't know. I don't know either. Who wears tall black socks in 2015 with camo shorts? Now, since we've gotten past all the uh, aspersions, if you want a piece of Impact Inc. and the past Hall of Famer and future Impact Player of the Year. Okay, okay. The Hall of Famer, Mark Wilson, the facilitator and the rightful IZW champion, we have no problem coming to that ring right now and kicking all five of your asses. I'm, I'm serious. You want this right now? You people want to match right now. You want to match right now. Look, we can kick their ass. All right, let's leave this to the people. If you want to see us versus them right now, let me hear you. The gauntlet's been thrown, gentlemen. Come on in.
all screaming. Chop him. Hold on. Hold on. That's not very loud. Do y'all want Kevin Morgan to chop Mark Wilson? Yeah. 